Hello, friends. Uncle Marv here with another episode of the IT Business Podcast. And we are coming down the home stretch here at IT Nation in Orlando, Florida, at the lovely Gaylord Palms Resort. And uh, I just had to reset up the gear because I have joining me with me, General Manager. Wow, that was just horrible. <laughs> General Manager uh, at uh, ConnectWise, Jeff Bishop is in the house. Jeff, how are you? Uh, good, Mark. I appreciate you letting me come on and uh, hang out with you for uh, a little bit this morning. Well, thank you, sir. And uh, I apologize for not being quite ready for you, but uh, no glad worries. to have you here. And, of course, you're somebody that people want to hear from. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> because uh, you're kind of, you know, the go-to go guy when, you know, ASIO comes up. I mean, yeah. it's just uh, the core features of ConnectWise, trying to make everything work together. Uh, kind of talked about it last year at uh, Connect. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess I should ask, you know, what's all the new stuff that's happened since then? Uh, since Connect, um, a lot of it's been, we, we've been trying to get it all set up uh, uh, to start to bring the, the PSA and some of the business management and the security products into ASIO. So we've, you know, uh, Going into Connect, you know, RMM's there, BCDR is there, vulnerability management, um, but we had a, a, a bit more work to do so that we can start to bring the PSA, CDQ, BrightGage, IT Boost, SIM, MDR in. So that's the next wave, right? So we uh, got a lot of that architecture in place and now starting to work with those teams to uh, get all of them moved over to a common uh, company sites, contacts, uh, uh, devices sometime in Q3, uh, early Q4. So. So, uh, and the ticketing, we got one ticketing, so the, the PSA ticketing, our mem ticketing, help desk, knock, sock, all one spot. So, we, we've got all the, the pieces done now. So, now it's starting to bring all of it together. I'm sure we're going to find some bugs and some problems we'll have to troubleshoot, but that's the that's the next big wave. And um, I think a lot of the partners are really going to appreciate it because it's it reminds me and then it gets turned into a company, boom, right? It's in every single product because it's the same back end. Right. Um, and we, we've talked about it a little bit of like, this is where we're going and the vision uh, and how much time it's going to save and simplicity and it just makes things just, just work. Uh, and now it's, as those products move in, it's really going to become a reality, which is fun to see uh, when it starts to get connected. Right. So you talked about the fact of everything tying together, basically this, you know, unified data layer so I had Jake on yesterday. Oh, yeah? Jake, Jake was probably the most excited I have seen him be <laughs> over, you know, Sidekick and how everything is just, you know, gelling together with all that. So Yeah, look, I, I wish I was half the public speaker that Jake is. But, yeah, I mean, when you can bring all the data together into one spot, that means you can start creating AI models that span products and span services. So we could build, you know, the, the best... AI model ever for RMM and for PSA and for CPQ and for BrightGage, but but they're disparate. Uh, when you can start to bring the data together in one spot, now you can create you know a handful of models that can bridge all those products. You know, it can start to look at CPQ data and make recommendations into PSA or PSA data and make recommendations in RMM or vice versa. So that I would love to say that we uh, we knew that uh, generative AI was going to hit you know a year or so back and. We were getting prepared for it. I, th I think every one of us uh, here thought it was like another several years right. out before we yeah. see this. And it's sort of, I guess, fortuitous that we, we had stuff in place where we could start to build this stuff uh, um, out of one data layer uh, uh, as we did. So it's good. Right. Um, so, of course, on the, the first day, the keynote, you know, the big announcement of, you know, Secure 360. Yeah. Uh, how much have you gotten asked about that in the last couple of days? Uh, tons, tons. Jeff, can we bring in uh, you know other uh, cloud products into it and other, uh, other security products into it? I'm like, you know I'm Jeff, not a mirror, right? But no, was, <laughs> I, I, so I, I sat down. I was like, that's that's the goal, right? This yeah. is uh, everything we do is about connecting things. That's in the name, right? So, and, and the ecosystem of, uh, that is ASIO starts to help us really do that. So, um, I love the fact that. As, as we help vendors start to create their own pods, those pods can start to show up on a page or multiple pages. You know, you don't have to be, as a vendor anymore, you're not integrating into PSA or RMM, you're integrating into ASIO. And now it can go across all of the products. And I, I know there's a ton of vendors inside of there, it's gonna be like, you mean I don't have to go learn 10 different API sets, and I don't have to 
worry about this UI and maintain this integration and that integration. I can maintain one. They're gonna they're gonna love it. I, I you know, hope. I'm sure they'll again tell me all the things that I need to improve to make it better. But we'll get there, and uh, we got a good team on it. Um, but when it comes to the the, uh, the 360 product, I mean, it is about bringing all of the different security products together into a 360 view, start to correlate that data so that we can take actions against it. Um, one of the big things was they're like, oh man, you know, uh, we're gonna need the AZO agent to, to go out to help do some of this stuff. If we wanna, you know, isolate machines, we're gonna do things, so that means we gotta have RMM. I'm like, no, no, no. Remember, AZO is a framework. It's a platform as a service, that agent the same agent that works for RMM, vulnerability management. Uh, it works for the, you know, it's the RPA agent. It's the 360 right. agent. So it's not an RMM agent. It's an ASIO agent. Right. So uh, there was a little bit of confusion there. I think that's getting kind of squared away now with everybody. Well, I think the confusion too is you know you're talking about the marketplace and you know the vendors that are already tied in and you know authorized integrated partners yeah. with you guys. But the fact is that you're going to have the ability to bring in other vendors. They may not be ConnectWise authorized, but, you know, I, I think that kind of plays into, oh, well, can we play in your playground with our product if we're not technically in the ConnectWise family? So even if you're not in the ConnectWise family, we'd love to have you in. The way we ask everybody to do that is to come through the event program. So we know who you are, what you're doing, what's the goals, how do you want to market yourself, get you onto that that tile dashboard, let everybody know you exist. And, and then it's it's helping you figure out how to do that integration. Uh, what One of the things I love about the event programs, they also look at make sure all the integrations are secure. Right, so we run them through a security posture and, and check that out. So when we start putting these things out there, we can go, we can go to partners and go, we know that at least this, the, the integration itself is secure, but we've done some of that analysis and, and uh, insights. And we can work with uh, vendors. A lot of people come in, push full data. It's a very simple, clean, you, know, you just you get started, sign the, you know, the paperwork. We understand who you are and what you're doing. Others want to come in and, hey, can we do some joint marketing together? Can we do webinars together? Can we, hey, we need additional APIs to do some other things. And, and so then we try to work with them on that. So it's, it's a, it's evolving, it's growing, uh, like everything in ASIO, but uh, you know, we've already got it over 15 or 20 vendors in there now, and I think that's really going to just skyrocket over the next six months. All right. So, enough bar talk now. Okay. Uh, personally, how has the conference been for you and uh, your time here? Look, I, I would love to say that I, I, I get to talk to MSPs probably daily, right? You know, it's... Uh, talking to them about the RMM product, talking to them about the RPA product, ASIO, maybe I hop in to help out Jake uh, with some of the PSA things where he gets uh, duplicative, you know, get, gets, he doesn't have enough time. Um, so to be able to sit down and just go sit at one of these couches, four or five uh, people will walk by that you haven't seen in a year and you just right. hang out, hear how their families are, talk, talk to them about the vacations they're getting ready to have here in a couple weeks. Um, Maybe seeing some of the challenges they have, get some inspiration on them. Maybe a, a few few features I need to add or uh, some bugs I need to fix. But that's that's the fun part when you can really uh, just connect on that human level. And I was talking to somebody the other day. And I was like, Hey, you know, look, this is the whole thing is this isn't an enterprise show. This is a small business show. At the end of the day, this is where we know a lot about each other. We know about the families and. Um, that human element is, is key, so uh, I really enjoy that part of it. Well, I think it's really great that as big as this conference is, that there is accessibility, that you guys are here on the floor with us, you know, you're not off in some executive suite in between the general sessions, you know, <laughs> avoiding us, uh, you're um, out here, and it's not just us, the media, just like you said, MSPs in general, uh, that can walk up and say, hey, can I ask you a question? And yeah. most of the time you say yes. Yeah, it, like, I, I don't know if I can always answer the question, but I'm absolutely <laughs> here to, to listen and talk. I mean, that's, again, it's, it's what these shows are for, is to sit down and connect and right. learn and talk and help each other out. So, all right, well, Jeff, thank you all very right. much. And uh, I know your time is uh, very valuable here, <laughs> so thank you for sitting down with me here on Radio Row and looking forward to it. And uh, I'll be following, of course, all the stuff that's going on 
uh, especially since Lardo has me on the pitch at patrol. Oh, so, uh, man. <laughs> Lardo's got everybody working for him. Yep. <laughs> and uh, then we'll be back in November for uh, Connect, and uh, we'll see you again there. We'll see there. you Connect. Thanks All a lot. Right. Thanks it, a lot, Mark. sir. Appreciate it. All right, folks, that's going to do it here from IT Nation. Jeff Bishop, General Manager of Products, and uh, we'll see you next time. And until then, holla. Thanks.